there are no significant headwinds during this period. In the worst case scenario, exports could decline to just 5%, unless an expected headwind of substantial impact hits in the fourth quarter, which, according to the Council, is slim to none. Key drivers of continued growth to the export sectors remain firstly the weak bond, which has prompted more producers to rise to rely on local content to counter higher import prices and maintain their profit margins, especially when exported to key markets such as the U.S. and the Middle East region. Second is the current food crisis, which has been a boon for many agricultural products, namely frozen processed chicken and a variety of canned food, especially to Europe and the U.K. markets. The Council therefore proposes the following recommendations for the Italian government. Firstly, to accelerate free trade agreements, such as the Thai EU, Thai UK trade deals, and to diversify to new export markets, as well as promote long term international investments. If you notice how uh, much more stable looking this signal is here on this Yesu FTDX10, um, you might say, well, wow, this, you know, this radio stabilizes the signals. And this has to do with the AGC, the automatic gain control. One of the things I often mention is the uh, absence of uh, automatic gain control on portables. And portables that have that would have those settings for like slow and fast would probably help a lot in their signals. So you might have seen the other video where I show you the ATS25 and my Texan H501X receive Radio Thailand. But the problem is their AGC is, you know, fast. It's it's set at a default that's really quick, which means that in a signal that is very up and down, really fast acting, well, you hear a lot of instability, a lot of wobble in the signal. On this Yesu, I have the AGC, and it is set right now to uh, slow speed, pretty much, which means the radio doesn't have time to really react and keeps a certain level even though the signal fades quickly and i gotta say this is where you know little things like that can help on some desktop receivers this is why i would like texan or any manufacturer to add agc settings on their portable receivers so this is radio thailand 13750 and the new b schedule on the yesu ftdx10 in this case, it's on the 60-foot V-shaped uh, antenna that I have in the backyard. These types of companies in which they care of, more and more exporting countries in key markets such as the U.S. and EU, are leveling higher taxes for products imported that have high carbon footprints. So these companies would over time become less profitable and competitive. In terms of value of carbon credit in the open market, for instance, in the EU, a medium carbon credit price is 8 euros per ton. In order to sell carbon credit to that market, project owners need to register and get carbon credit certificate to verify the value of the carbon credit, which is done by TGO. Then anyone can then offer to sell them in the local or international market. For those interested to learn more how to begin, we will have the second part of this report in the Midday News Hour. And uh, moving on to Thai U.S. partnerships to invest in EV technology. EGAC International, a subsidiary of RAP Group PLC, has teamed up with the U.S. based Abnormal Technology, which runs a battery business to make a joint 100 million U.S. dollar investment in electric vehicle or EV charging and energy storage solutions in the U.S. market next year. RAP Group is a subsidiary of the State Owned Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand, or EGAC which only announced that it wanted to boost EGAT's business opportunities overseas through Ram Group and Electricity Generating PLC, also a subsidy of EGAT. Monday, I'm Paul Cease, part of Senior Executive Vice President and Acting President of EGAT International, said the company was interested in the development of smart EV charging facilities. He expects to see more usage of EV charges along with increased